Hi guys, so welcome again to Ishbin Alphonsine. So those of you who would like to come through another ways that you not have to struggle to Germany, then there's another opportunity for you. Okay, so this is typically for au pairs, okay? Au pairs actually means that um, if you like to move from your home country to Germany to come and assist uh, someone with his or her child, like a parent or a couple with their children, then this video is also for you. It's an opportunity to also use this to come into the federal state. Now, um, let's look at what it actually entails to be an au pair, okay? All about au pair, all the issues about au pair. How should you even apply? What are the requirements? What do you actually need to put in place? So let's look at all these things, okay? Now, the very first thing you have to notice that if you want to come as an au pair, you should have A1 German language, okay? A1. It is a must. You cannot do away with German. You should have A1 German language. Now, you should be between the ages of 18 and 26, okay? 18 and 26, of course. Yeah, it, you shouldn't be above 26 years old, yes. So, um... And then this, the duration for the au pair is actually one year, okay? So what it is is that um, you find, a, there are a lot of links. I'll put the link below uh, the description of this video so that you look at how you can navigate through to find a, a parent, okay? So that you would uh, apply as an au pair to come into the federal states. Now, um, what it is is that once you register with the, um, the, I mean, when you open the link and you register, okay, now um, you have to find a couple. And this couple must be Germans or their mother tank must be German, okay? So, for instance, if I uh, give you uh, an invite that you'd have to come and take care of my kids for me. You have to come as an au pair. You will not be giving the, uh, the, it will not even be possible because I am not a German and my mother tongue is not German, German. Okay. So you have to get a German couple. This is one of the requirements. Okay. So you can do this through online. It's very easy for you to do it. Okay, so normally when you do all these things, so let's go into the requirements one after the other. And then you should know that for one year, okay, there is no extension. You cannot extend your visa uh, after one year, okay, for the au pair. And you should also note that even if you come into the federal state, you cannot be a second au pair to another um another parent so if i invite you as an au pair into the federal state after you are finished with your maximum of one year you cannot go and say that okay i'm going to take care of uh my name like another person's uh, children no you cannot do that you have to go back to your home country okay now let's look at another um another requirement this person this this couple that is bringing you into germany should didn't be related to you so for instance if i were german and uh, i am like bringing someone i shouldn't bring a, a relative of mine my sister or my no i should bring someone i do not know at all okay so you have to take that one too into consideration man if german is not your mother tongue at least german should be the family language that you all speak okay so uh, for instance if you um if you are like from um, the european union okay and you are not a german for instance if you are from maybe holland but you have stayed in germany for a very long time and then you speak german fluently okay so you are also eligible to bring out an au pair into the country okay so this is actually for you to note you from ghana or wherever okay it is for you to note that it is not anybody who can bring you as an au pair okay yeah so you have to note that uh, another instance is that if you are not like if you are not a german if german is not your mother tongue okay the the visa will be issued to um to the person the au pair if the au pair doesn't come from your home country so that's how i'm citing an example so for 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 instance if i um 
my, if I were the ones to to give the invites to the person coming to Germany, okay? And if German wasn't my mother tongue, of course, German is not my mother tongue, then the person that I am bringing as an au pair shouldn't come from Ghana, okay? The person I am bringing as an au pair shouldn't come from Ghana because, I mean, you know that they, they are... They do not actually want you to bring someone else, you can your cousin or someone into the federal state who is actually related to you, but maybe you will not bear the same name. Okay, so I shouldn't bring someone from Ghana if German is not my mother tongue. Okay, but if German is my mother tongue, then I can bring someone from Ghana. Okay, yes, so this is actually another... Yeah, another thing you should know. Now, let's look at the requirements. You should get your passport ready, your two application uh, forms, okay? You have to complete them. And then biometric uh, passport photographs, you have to also do that. You have to look at the work contracts. Okay, so the couple here in Germany must give you a work contract. And the work contract must state the names of the host family. So if I am giving the uh, invite to the au pair to come, it should state my name, okay, and my husband's name, okay, the, the, and then the names of all the children, okay. So uh, these all have to be in the contract okay for the embassy to be clear about it now uh, another thing you also uh it's uh, the contract has should or has to also include is the um the start dates okay the agreement of the start dates and then the duration of the contract and of course how much will you pay it is the host responsibility to pay uh, the au pair every month okay so how much will you also pay to the au pair every month for taking care of your kids okay the working hours all right how uh, how many hours is the au pair uh, supposed to work is it five hours is it six hours is it four hours is it while you are eight hours the whole of eight hours whilst the couple are um uh what do you call it uh are working okay it should the contract should state all these things and of course uh the au pair's health insurance okay um are you the one to take care of the health insurance how is the arrangements like everything has to be in the contract for it to be clear okay so the host has to also bring um their city registration okay so that everything has to be sent to the to the embassy you know it uh-huh and then um the the children as i said earlier on their names must also be in the contract and there's a questionnaire okay so actually it depends from which country you are applying okay there are questionnaires that the host must fill okay and submit it to um the the forms okay and then there's proof of academic studies for the au pair you who is coming from your home country you have to prove your academic studies and i said earlier on that you have to get german a1 your cv your letter of motivation and this letter of motivation should include why you want to actually um i be an au pair do you have um like sympathy for children do you do you like like taking care of children everything should be included and mind you in order for you uh, for your cv to be well organized you have to also state that you have already taken care of people okay of children before so that it would actually tally to what you are saying if you do not have any experience at all in taking care of children then there would be a kind of like vacuum in whatever you are saying okay which will not tally up so you really have to form your strat your cv okay in such a way that you have had experience okay even if you've not had experience before i mean you should go and do one or two like get the practical experience a little then uh you can put it in your cv that you have taken care of children before then they will know that okay um you have passion for ch taking care of children you have done this before so they can accept you into the federal state okay so that is how it says then of course you have to do proof of medicals okay you have to check medicals everything will be sent to the m you have to do all these things okay to send it to the uh the embassy and your your insurance okay so the insurance is the uh travel insurance that you would um you would have to get from uh, ghana into germany and then of course the visa fee 
Okay, so it depends on where you are applying from. The visa fee might vary. Okay, so for Ghana like this, I know it's between 70, 70 euros to 75 euros, which I'm not sure. Yeah, so you can go and check on the um the counselor's uh, website. Yeah, and then of course, your best certificate should be included. And then the inv invitation letter from your host um your host and then the passport copies of your host everything should be sent to the embassy uh for the visa that's how it is this is these are all the requirements now um when you come into the federal state okay so if you are taking care of the child for like eight hours and um like if you are taking care of the child okay the child will also be going to the kita the like the kindergarten or stuff like that so uh, what you have to do is that when the child goes to school there's opportunity there's an opportunity for you to continue to learn the german language up to b1 Okay, you can learn the German language. So whilst the kid is in school, you can enroll yourself. Sometimes the host take uh, that amount of money. They pay on your behalf. Okay, sometimes too, you have to pay on your behalf. But mind you, if you come into the federal state, you are not allowed to work because already you are taking care of children. You are on a pay. You are working. So you cannot do any extra work outside. What you can do is that you can learn the German language. Okay, which it's it's possible for you to do okay now once you get to be one okay you can use this one year to actually be serious and get to be one once you get to be one you are eligible to even apply for house building please listen to what i'm saying you can apply for house building and with this house building you can stay it's it will give you an opportunity to stay i know someone who also came from tanzania as um uh, uh, an au pair and then she was within one year she was able to read and write german to uh, up to level b2 so when she had the b2 she applied for house building and then that is it she's working now okay so these are some of the opportunities now with these rules and regulations okay and these all these things they really state that you have one year and then you go back to your country but once you enter the federal states there are a lot of opportunities for you okay though this is what they say but once you enter there are opportunities for you provided you you Im improve yourself to learn the language once you get to b1 or b2 you can apply for house building okay you can apply for house building and then you can do it once you do it you'll be able to get something and then you stay okay so these are some of the things this is actually for au pair and this is an advantage for you if you know someone who uh wants to come you can share the video give it to anybody to watch and then the person will listen okay so these are some of some of the advantages that are here once you enter through OPE, you can be able to stay. Though they are saying a maximum of one year, you have to return to your country. But these are some of the tricks. These are some of the tricks. So be serious. And then apply. If you know someone who wants to. And then most of the times, um, this OPE is associated with like um, female. Like if you're a lady. Okay. Because I know guys will not like to it's very like it's not it's not it's not common for guys to apply for a pair to come and take care of kids and stuff okay normally ladies do that okay so if you know anyone the issue is that you have to go online uh, i'll put the description of where you can actually get an au pair uh, family okay uh, a family who is looking for an au pair in the description below okay and then you click on it and apply once you apply you can apply for multiple of them multiple of them make sure that you you really um introduce yourself very well you put things that will actually catch the the couple okay and if you think that you do not understand german you can you can translate it write in english translate it and put it there okay so that the couple will also know that okay you have the passion for it you are you are really dedicated to look at uh or to take uh, care of their their kids okay so once you do that then the couple will then start communicating with you they'll start communicating with you one like 
one day after the other so the communication will be very deep then they will then send the invites to you by then you would have also done your a1 because it's very necessary if you do not have the a1 you cannot come and please you have to also write the exams and pass you have to get 80 and above okay so these are the requirements for you to come so be serious and apply right okay so please share the video to others who uh, do not know the way share and then like the video thank you so much for watching if you were thrilled bye